It's a rocking chair. Ah. See these curved pieces of wood? Well, they're called rockers. And they're shaped like that so that you can rock back and forth, back and forth. Oh, yes. It's ever so comfortable. It's making me feel quite sleepy. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, listen. It's the house. There must be a story to tell. Step inside all those who love stories. Look and listen. We've tales to tell of fun Excitement, magic, adventure, tears, fears, and laughter. Surprises as well. Step inside. Hello. Hello, Mr. Mopple. Hello, Mr. Mopple. Mr. Mopple, Chloe won't let me sit on her lap. I'm not surprised, Twinkle. She hasn't got a lap. That's what I keep telling you, dear. Boris, let me sit on your lap then. Oh dear, oh dear. I've told you a hundred times, Twinkle. I haven't got a lap either. Twinkle, do you know what a lap is? Mm, yes. Well, no. I know cats often sit on someone's lap, but I never have. Come on, Twinkle. You can sit on my lap. You spoil him, Mr. Mopple. Bum! Whoops, pardon me. What do I do, Mr. Mopple? Come and sit here. Is that your lap then? Yes. Oh, Twinkle. <laughs> I can't believe you don't know how to sit on someone's lap. <laughs> Ooh. There you are. Now what happens? Well, if we were in a rocking chair, we could rock back and forth, like this. Oh, that would be nice. Oh, yes, right, the rocking chair. That's what reminded me of a story. Well, I've got it here somewhere. Oh, yes, stand back, Mr... Oh, uh, Mr Mopple. Yes, Boris. Oh, I've got a story for you. Oh, right. You'll have to sit beside me now, Twinkle. I'm going to read a story. Oh, good. A story. You could go and sit in your own chair, Twinkle. Wouldn't you be more comfortable? No, I like it here. Thank you, Chloe. So where's this book then, Boris? Coming up. Stand back, Mr Mopple. Thank you, Boris. What's the story called? It's called Grandmother and I. Oh, look! There's a cat sitting there, looking out of the window. Oh, yes! Grandmother and I are sitting in the big chair, rocking. We rock back and forth and back and forth. And Grandmother hums little tunes. And her shoes make a soft sound on the floor. Other people have laps too. Mother's laps are good when there's not enough room on the bus or when you need to have your shoes tied and your hair braided. Father's laps are good when you want to be a cowboy. Yeehaw! But grandmother's lap is just right when you're having a bad cold. Achoo! Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you. 
We sit in the big chair and rock back and forth and back and forth. And grandmother hums little tunes. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And her shoes make a soft sound on the floor. Look, the cat wants to join in. <laughs> Brothers and sisters let you ride on their backs. But when they read out loud to you, they want you to sit beside them. I'm sitting beside you, aren't I, Mr Mopple? Yes, you are, Twinkle. But Grandmother's lap is just right when lightning is coming in through the window. We sit in the big chair and rock back and forth, back and forth. And Grandmother hums little tunes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And her shoes make a soft sound on the floor. Grandfather's laps are good after you've been for a walk or when you want to count the cars going by. But Grandmother's lap is just right when the cat's been gone for two days and you don't want to do anything but sit in the big chair and rock back and forth and back and forth while Grandmother hums little tunes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And her shoes make a soft sound on the floor. What's happened to the cat? Well, they haven't seen him for two days. Oh. There he is. He's come home again. And there they are, having a cuddle on Grandmother's lap. Can I sit on your lap again, Mr Bopple? Next time you can, Twinkle. Bong! Time to go! Time to go! Thank you, Boris. That was a lovely story. Yes, I thought so too. Right, I'm off then. Goodbye, Mr Goodbye, Mopple. Mr. Thank Bopple. you for reading the story. Goodbye! On second thoughts, I think I'll have a little nap before I carry on with my work. Back and forth, back and forth. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.